BB Shay. What's going on? And Biggie's horror movie reviews. And you're here for that this week. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I'm excited about it, too. Yeah. Uh, Are you really excited? I am. I get yeah. really excited about this all the time. Now, the music is playing. Jaws. Biggie, as always, 31 Nights of Horror. He has seen all these terrifying movies. And here we are. What's today's date? The 21st of October. So we're wow. two-thirds of the way through this. And Biggie gave us a great review of 28 Days Later yesterday. And now he has Jaws 2, which he had never seen before. And we've all seen Jaws. And B.B. Shea, you've not seen it, have you, Jaws? No, I ain't seen it. I, I told ain't. I, I, I ain't seen it. I just told everybody. Well, B.B. Shea will be here to comment on this. <laughs> I'm excited. I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> you said you were excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Biggie, real... in, in Jaws, I've, I've only seen Jaws 2 once. Do they use the exact same music? Oh, yes. 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 I was excited about Jaws 2. It's kind of like B.B. Shea's appearance. I'm always excited. And then oh, you, right. It's coming. It's coming. And then oh, it's, like, it's here. Oh, yeah. That was disappointing. That's it. What a disappointment. You didn't get the gifts you wanted. <laughs> oh. I did a deep dive on the mayor of Jaws, uh, yeah, the mayor of Amity yesterday. He's in Jaws 2. He's like one of the main guys in Jaws 2, of course. Larry Vaughn. Well, mayor Larry Vaughn. Fun Twitter f- follow if you're on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, he's a great. Yes. Now, Big E... Give us your thoughts on Jaws 2 and set it up for us. And he says he's got a ton of factoids for us. Hit us. Well, you boys warned me. Yeah. But what a mess. Oh, it's a turd. It's an absolute turd. It is an absolute turd of a film. Mm -hmm. It is. And I almost feel like the more I think about it, the more I want to lower the rating I gave it. You're mad at it. The sequel is so bad, you get mad at it, you know? It's too long. Yep. There's not enough of the shark. True. I will say this. In Jaws, they built up to the shark. Mm Mm-hmm. This time, you know, the shark is there. There's not enough of the shark. A, qu- a plot point. How did this, what, what's the reason behind this shark returning? It's, is it like the sister-in-law? It's just bad. It's just another shark. It's but they blew the other one up. They did. Yeah, yeah. It's just a different shark. And I know, I remember Roy Scheider saying, I've seen this before. I know. Nobody believed me last time either. It's just a different shark. In okay. fact, that scene is in front of, I believe, the city council. Uh, let's start at the beginning. Mm-hmm. The shark is back. Yep. Uh, it attacks some divers. Yep. Uh, also, there's really annoying teens in the movie. They are. Yes, they're very really annoying. annoying. Yeah, teens. you pull for the shark. His <laughs> yes. his sons are now. One of them's a teenager, and all yeah. his friends they go out there drinking and you know sex and yeah. I mean, that's they just, do no. <laughs> well, well, they try to well, in they my mind. They, they want to do the sex. They right? want to. They want to <laughs> yeah. sex. They drink. They do mm-hmm. drink. They don't sex. We but want them to. They're highly annoying teens. Mm-hmm. Also, who the hell reelected Mayor Larry Vaughn? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is why you got to get out and vote, people. And yeah. isn't it funny, too? In Jaws, nobody believes Scheider or Hooper that there is a shark, and they're screaming from the rooftops, and they don't believe him, and disaster occurs. In the second one, he says, I've seen this before. It's all the same signs, and they don't believe him again. They're like, <laughs> no. oh, come on, in Scheider. Fact, come on, Chief. They, go, they don't believe him so much, they remove him <laughs> as the sheriff. <laughs> I forgot that plot point. That's right, they yeah. removed him, yeah. Well, they don't yeah. want to believe him because they don't want to close the beaches and they don't want to lose that, those, of course. The, no, the, the of summer course tourists. Not. So yeah. is it a year later or three years later? Well, I, it's well, I, they never really give you really a timeline. Know. But the sun has grown up from like right. age 12 to 18. Yes. You know, it, It's later, yeah. In reality, it's three years later. The movie came out in 1978. Okay. So I far enjoyed looking up factoids about this movie yeah. more than I did the actual movie. Hit because yep. it was, at the time, Universal's most expensive picture ever made. It cost oh, them really? $30 million. In comparison to the first one, I guess, it was a lot less. And they had the, the yes. mechanical shark and everything, of course. Now, I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. It also became the highest grossing movie, like, opening weekend ever. Because mm-hmm. everybody wanted to. Everybody wanted to see this. You ready for this? Yes. It came out the same weekend as Greece. No kidding. Wow. It beat Greece by $300,000. That's it. So they were number one and two for a long time on opening weekend. Wow. If memory serves, Greece had a number one single before, before. the movie hit theaters. Yes. That's right. Yep. It barely, barely beat Greece. Interesting. What yes. A summer. What a, what a matchup. You'd think oh, these yeah. days Greece would wait for two weeks and then come out. Yes. Know? And also, it was really one of the first movies that was used everywhere for like average it had its own toy line yeah average t-shirts yeah everything i mean they marketed the hell out of it now it also remained the number one sequel mm-hmm. to a movie money wise for one year do you know what movie replaced it uh, i'm gonna say empire strikes back rocky 2 
Rocky, Rocky. Two. Rocky no. two came out in 1979, and it uh, surpassed the box office. Another bad sequel, but better than Jaws two. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now Jaws two didn't make a ton of money at the box office, not nearly what Jaws did. Mm-hmm. But I think everyone rushed out to see it. This, or it got and, out fast. And, oh, it yeah. did. Yeah, the critics just even then hammered it. I, I, I think Roger Ebert called it just a total disaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. It's terrible. I mean, everything about it is terrible. Yeah, the only good part in it is Roy Scheider. I mean, he's he's good. That's they, they, they couldn't get Richard Dreyfuss back. He wasn't there. Shaw no, was dead. Shaw was dead. You know but. why he didn't come back was he when he said, if Spielberg's not doing it, I'm not yeah, doing well, it. And that's uh, the big thing. No Spielberg. And, Do we know who the director was? Is he a name? She? It was a she, and I, d- I didn't recognize the name. I will mm. tell you this, Spielberg, which I think we briefly discussed last year, said, he said, why didn't you come back for Jaws 2? And he said, I hated making Jaws 1 so much. It was a miserable experience. It, he said, it nearly killed me. I was like, it was the first, Jaws was apparently one of the first movies to ever go like 100 days over mm-hmm. shooting. Like, well, they he couldn't thought get it to work. Yeah. They couldn't get the thing to The work. shark was here. He said... He was so just bitter towards it. That's why he wanted nothing to do with Jaws 2. Let me ask Chris Tim a question. I think you'd be best at this. When, when we started, we said, you know, the, the, the town doesn't believe him again. It's like mm-hmm. the same story over mm-hmm. again. Now it's just teenagers out there. I mean, if you wanted to, if Jaws 1 was a huge hit, so you know you're going to make Jaws 2, well, how can you change the story? What should the story be? Because yeah, it's a shark in the water. That's yeah. all it ever is. You know? That's all it is. It's a shark in the yeah, water. You've got to get people in the water. Exactly. And it's like, how do you... It's almost and it's the same venue, too, which is yes. a little yes. limiting. They, they Unbelievable, should've, They should have left it the same. They should have just left the, left it. I mean, left the movie Jaws and be done with it. Oh, of course. You know? Because if you want to make a sequel... I mean, I can't think of... Like, I will give Halloween credit because these last three have had unique storylines. Even if you hate them, they've had unique storylines that are different. But with Jaws 2, it's just a shark back and not much more happens. You know, there's not much to work with. No, how do you do it? No, the best thing about Jaws 2, if memory serves, is it had the best tagline, maybe of all time. It's just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Absolutely perfect tagline. Mm -hmm. That is that's where it came from Jaws 2. Yes, not one. one, Because it's go back into the water. Right. Just when you thought it was safe. Because everybody had seen Jaws 1, except B.B. Shane. (laughs) Shannon, (laughs) you're talking about Jaws 2. Go ahead. Uh, Yes, I've seen Jaws 1 probably 20 times. And 2, I've seen 5 or 6. You can't really appreciate Jaws 2 until you see Jaws 3. Then you realize how good... Good, Jaws 2. Actually, was. Jaws 3. Well, now that's a, oh, right. that's a fair point. We hadn't thought yeah. about Jaws 3. Yeah. And I saw that in the theater. I was like, let's go see Jaws 3. Jaws 3D. Awful. Yeah, 3D. Yeah. Terrible 3D effects. Awful. Terrible. Lou Gossett Jr., the war. Awful. Jaws 3 is. Scheider was there, though, wasn't he? Was he no. in 3? No, he's not in 3. It's his, his wife. <laughs> no, she's not she's in, in either. She's in 4? She's in 4. <laughs> he's not in 3 or 4. He, he, the last one he did was 2. Uh, you know who it is? It's his son grown up, and it's Quaid. It's Dennis Quaid. That's who he is. Oh. Yeah. Dennis Quaid, is his, and he's running SeaWorld. <laughs> I mean, the sharks made him suffer so badly mentally, he goes down to SeaWorld to run it. He's like in charge of SeaWorld, one of the big wigs there. And, or he's not a big, he like trains the animals. Mm-hmm. And a sh- in part three, a shark gets into the dolphin enclosure. That's uh-huh. at least a little better premise than at least. Well, they did change it the up. Same but the movie, the movie mm-hmm. is awful. It's, awful. it's terrible. Media guy Craig, you're commenting on Jaws 2. That's the movie Biggie's reviewing here today. Go ahead. Yeah, you guys were wondering why did the shark come back. In the novelization, it's actually a larger female shark, and they make out that she was impregnated by the original shark, and she's mad that he's dead, and she comes to kill everybody in oh, Amity, okay. and at the end yep. uh, has babies. For the sequel that they never made, the third, um, yeah, they had a bunch of. Maybe that would have been it if you want to do it differently. Have a bunch of sharks, you know, a mm-hmm. school of sharks, and you got Sharknado. That's yeah, exa- but you, that was many years later. I'll tell you this, Biggie. I'll tell you what I did like about it. I like the way they killed him in part two. Oh, I, I love yeah, that's that, good. That, that actually got one of the pumpkins. I thought it was a cool way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was really yeah. good. One pumpkin for the kill. Thank you, media guy, Craig. It's better, got, the, better than the first one. Yeah, it's got yeah. one pumpkin for the kill. Yeah. One pumpkin for Mayor Larry Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I just was shocked to see him. Yep. And one pumpkin because it does have some really cool facts with it. And Shider. So, I, yeah, I'll go yeah. give me, I'll yeah, mix yeah. him in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave it three pumpkins. Three pumpkins. Yeah. This is with the kids, if I remember, on the on the rock in the catamaran. Yep. Yes. That's right. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. And don't, like some of the boats flip over and the kids have to lash the boats together. Yes, yep. yes exactly. And they're out there the whole time. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And then the Shider comes, kills the shark, and saves them. Yeah. Exactly. All right. And I did enjoy Scheider when he was drunk after he got fired. He's a drinker. He drank a number one, got drunk. Yeah. He, he, he will drink. Mm-hmm. He drank will. A bottle of wine. Uh, and he didn't treat his wife very well either. Uh, 
I, I, that scene always bothers me. He's back. He's drunk. The the mom of the this is in the original Jaws. The mom of the little Kittner boys just slapped him in the face, and um, they were talking about how he has a fear of water. And she goes, "There's a technical term for it. What is it?" And he goes, "Drowning." Right. That pissed me off. It's like, come on, you can treat her better than that. Now she didn't do anything to you. <laughs> He well, lashed. He, he treated her like I treat big. Okay. <laughs> Unnecessary lash? Yes. Unnecessary <laughs> totally lash. Unnecessary lash. Well, maybe in the book, that's why <laughs> that's right. she cheated on him. That's right. She with, did in the book. Uh, with, with Hooper. Dreyfus's. With Hooper. In the first novel. Yep. Yeah, that's right. And that would be B.B. Shea's character coming in and cheating yeah. all around. <laughs> now, that would have been good if they'd have put that in the first movie. They could have transferred that <laughs> storyline to the second. There maybe might be something there. More of a part A little of more romance, movie. a little yeah. more personal stuff well, in there. Like I read the first novel, and I can't remember how they killed the shark in the book. Not the way they did in the movie? I don't know if you did the smile, you son of a bitch line. Because that's so that. visual. Love yeah. I don't know how, I can't remember how they killed the shark. Yeah, I don't, I never read, I have not I read think, any of it. I think in the book, Hooper dies. <laughs> Is that right? Pretty sure Hooper dies in the book, too. Well, he goes down, of course, he's in the water yes. with the shark at the end. Biggie, what's your movie? Now, first of all, where can anybody see Jaws 2? The dumb, I rented the, it from Amazon. The junkyard. <laughs> Goodwill. Goodwill. Amazon too. Yeah, go I to Goodwill. Recommend. Save three ninety nine. Yeah, go to the go, go to Goodwill and take a look at it. And uh, what's your? What, you got three movies this weekend? Yes, we have House of a Thousand Corpses, mm -hmm. a Rob Zombie film. You know, I don't care for his movies, but right. I must watch one. Yeah. Uh, then we have Alien 2. Yes. And then we have the original Saw. So Aliens. Aliens, and Saw. sorry. Yeah. And then are you hopefully seeing Terrifier 2 this weekend? Um, no, it's going to have to probably be early next week, hopefully. And we hope we get to that. BB Shea is in here. I've never felt so useless in my entire life. Oh, give it time. <laughs> <laughs> You're still young. Give I'm older years. than you, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're here to wrap up the week with your weekly wrap. Yeah. How was it today? How Fantastic. Finished it 30 minutes ago. Oh, All wonderful. Right. He's yeah. working right up to press time. Yes. Did you have a donut? To, I did not know. There was no cream filled out there. <laughs> Tell me about it. I was working on that, too. I huh? was like, that's a sign from God right there. I that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Man. Are you ready for your beats? Yeah, let's do it. Let's drop it. All here right. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> All right, yeah. Hey, yo, here we go again. It's the end of the week. And thank God for that because Kelly can't speak. It's another crappy rap for you all to consume. I'm still not used to seeing you all in the same room. I was here at the beginning and I tried to set the tone. I even passed the test and got Lisa on the phone. <laughs> Kelly wanted me to fail just so he could cook me. He wasted Lisa's time just to talk about cookies. Previous to that, I was here last Friday. I would have slept in if I really had it my way. I had to sit in Dave's seat. It felt like a setup. The truth is, Biggie just just didn't want to get up. I'm glad to be back, although I'm not on the show. Sorry, Kelly, for not showing up with the dro. I know you need it bad. You've been slumped all week. Plus, you recently had to change up what you eat. I know you've been sick, and it gets real tricky. Think next time before you start kissing Biggie. We've had it real rough by anyone's parameters. It could be worse, though. You could be a janitor. Wait, that's me, BB the Jerk. The one who thinks Reese Cups are too much work. Don't worry about your problems. You really have a lot. Imagine having to complain about parking spots. Yeah, I'm talking about them. The rock and roll savant. I just learned that you were French. Croissant, Kelly, stop digging in your nose on a glance. Uncharted territory like Barry Moore's pants. I blame Father Bloomthaw. You're upset and it shows. Beating him is like seeing David Trader Joe's. It ain't gonna happen, so please start clapping. You've got a better chance of them liking my rapping. Time to wrap it up. This keeps getting harder. Let's call it quits early like Dave's pyramid partner. That's it for me, man. This whole thing's been pretty cool. If you need me, you can find me at the middle school. <laughs> yes. There he is. I don't believe you were here, Dave, when he they, told us. He's a new revelation. He's janitoring he's now. He's got a new job. For the eighth graders at the middle school. <laughs> Are you lying to me? No. No, it's true. You no, he's here. working. He's yeah. a middle school janitor. Forgot to tell you. We're here. Last Friday. Not he just a rapper. Mm -hmm. well, this <laughs> opens up a whole new, a whole new yes. <laughs> This is a whole new world. He cleans up after the eighth graders at the, at the yeah. middle school now. Man, show me the new janitor. <laughs> <laughs> he raps. <laughs> <laughs>